สบายดีพี่น้อง Hello fam Today we're diving into the art of crafting a traditional Lao dish known as s o m p a k a l a m Sai Hu Mu, which is Lao fermented cabbage with pig ears. To begin, let's focus on preparing the pig ears by giving them a thorough cleaning. Sprinkle enough salt to cover them lightly, then use it as an exfoliant to scrub both sides of the ears until running water is clear. Next, place the ears in a large pot, cover them with water, and bring it to a simmer for about an hour. Once cooked, strain and rinse them under cool water to halt the cooking process. Then go ahead and slice the ears thinly into approximately two-inch pieces, and then you can set it aside. Now onto the cabbage. Cut it in half, remove the core, and roughly chop it into three-inch chunks. Place these cabbage chunks into a large bowl and try to break it the pieces up. And now, adding sliced Chinese chives or even green onions on top, sprinkle enough salt, and then you're gonna want to massage the vegetable, ensuring to mix thoroughly. So you're gonna do this for about 10 to 15 minutes, and go ahead and really press down on the vegetables. You're gonna hear the crunch, and that's totally fine. The salt will prompt wilting, so you're gonna massage until the volume reduces by half. Press down to ensure it's submerged into its own juices. Just like this, and now you're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. So once you come back to it, you should see there should be a lot of water that's coming out of the vegetables. Rinse the greens a few times to remove excess salt, and then go ahead and strain and remove excess water. In another bowl, you're gonna combine the cooked sticky rice with water, breaking up the rice until it's no longer clumpy. Return the greens to the clean mixing bowl, adding the sliced pork ears, rice water mixture, which aids fermentation, salt, sugar, and MSG. Mix well to evenly coat everything. Transfer the mixture to a large fermenting bucket, pressing down to ensure it's completely submerged in the liquid. Cover with plastic wrap to keep the vegetable submerged, then let it ferment for about two to three days. Taste along the way. If it's not sour enough, let it ferment for an additional day. Once the fermentation process is complete, the sum puck should be sour, crunchy, and salty. Serve and enjoy with fresh bird's eye chili peppers on the side. Comment below with your preferred way of enjoying sum puck, and let me know what dish you'd like to see me cook next.